how often do we hear this refrain? Not just with physical wellness, but with emotional and spiritual wellness. I can't be made well because, and you can fill in that blank with whatever you want. My childhood was rough. Can't be made well. I was just born this way. I'm just an angry person. My life has just been too tough. I've tried before and I, and I failed. I cannot be made well. Everything's against me. Life's not fair. I can't be made well. It's the government's fault. It's my boss's fault. It's my job's fault. It's my dad's fault. We have this fatalism in our culture. We don't expect anybody to get better. We're so worried that if I tell somebody they can get better, they're going to be offended because then they're going to realize the problem lies with them. Listen, I'm not disregarding brokenness. I'm not disregarding the impact of a childhood, your biology, your hormones, your family background, the government. All of those things matter. I'm not saying they don't matter. I'm just saying I have a belief that God is stronger than all of those things. That God is stronger than your predisposition to anger. He is stronger than your lust. He's stronger than disease. He is stronger than addiction. And some of us, we like to give more power to sin and darkness than we do to Jesus. And I think that's wrong. 